CTK youth, it's Larissa and I'm back with another devotional for you on this beautiful Thursday morning. <laughs> Is it actually beautiful? I don't know yet because I'm recording this on a Wednesday, but I'm speaking in faith. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about Luke chapter 15. So I'm going to invite you to pause this video, go to your YouVersion Bible app and either read or listen to the chapter all the way through. In Luke 15, Jesus is teaching, and certain tax collectors and sinners begin to gather near and listen to what he had to say. When the Pharisees and teachers of the law that were sitting there saw this, they murmured amongst themselves because Jesus so freely welcomed and received sinners and people of low status, and he even ate with them. Jesus responded with two parables, and the second one is the one we're going to focus on today. It's very familiar. It's the story of the prodigal son. There was a certain man who had two sons, and one day the younger son went to his father and he asked for his portion of the inheritance. And so the father divided his inheritance between his two sons. Not many days after, the younger son left the house and he began to spend all that he had on riotous, wasteful, sinful living. He became so poor, so depleted that he had to feed pigs in order to survive. Think about that within a Jewish context. Pigs were considered unclean animals according to the law. So this was the lowest place that this young man could have been, the dirtiest, most unclean place. And as he was feeding the pigs their slop, he was so hungry that he began to crave what they were eating. But then he had a moment of realization. The servants in my father's house are so much better off than I am right now. So I'll go to my father and I'll say, Father, I'm no longer worthy to be called your son, but make me as one of your hired servants. The young man left and went back to his father's house, hopeful that he would be received only as a servant. But when the father saw him coming in the distance, he had compassion on him and he ran towards him and kissed him and welcomed him back. And he threw a great party for him. When the older son saw this, he became very jealous and angry. And he said, Father, I've been with you this whole time. I've been a good son. I've been obedient. And you never killed a fatted calf for me. You never threw a party for me. And the father responded, you've been with me this whole time and everything I have is yours. But now it's time to rejoice because your brother that was dead is alive and he was lost but now he's found. Think about who you are in this story. Maybe you're the prodigal. Maybe you're far from the father right now. And I want to tell you that God still loves you and that you're welcome back in the father's house. He's just waiting with arms open wide. He has compassion for you. You're still his child. It doesn't matter how dirty, how sinful, how unclean of a place that you're in. God still loves you and he wants to welcome you back home. Or maybe you're the older brother. You're not a prodigal yourself, but you're looking down on somebody who's struggling, somebody who's walked away from God. I want to invite you to change positions, if you will, and become like the Father who welcomes people back, arms open. Today, you could be somebody's invitation to come back home, to enter back into a relationship with God. If you're the prodigal, come home. God still loves you. He has a place for you. He has a plan for you. It doesn't matter what you've done. He still loves you. And if, if you're not in a, in a prodigal situation, if you're not lost or far from God, be that open arm, be that invitation to somebody else to come back home. Be an extension of the love of God. I love you and I'll see you next week.